be testing out the Color Wow Dream Coat Anti-Frizz Treatment. So this treatment went viral on social media. It's basically a mini keratin treatment. It repels water, as you can see in this clip here. The water is literally just dropping off her hair. It's not absorbing. So it's supposed to be really great for like anti-frizz and anti-humidity. So it's supposed to give you that super silky look and it lasts up to three shampoos. So when I first saw this, I thought that's cool, but I didn't really see anyone with my texture like anywhere using this product until one creator here on YouTube, her name is Crystal Nicole. Um, I was getting sent her video by a few of my followers and they were DMing me her video and saying that it does work for, you know, our hair as well. So I was like, that's all I needed to hear. I will try it. So the directions say to part your hair into sections and saturate your hair with the product. So as far as hair prep for me, I just prep my hair like I always do before I'm about to straighten my hair. I, you know, it's freshly washed. I always make sure I don't have any product in my hair, like it's super, super clean hair. And that was my number one concern about this product. I thought that it would like leave a greasy type of feel to my hair or it will weigh it down because I do have low porosity hair. So at first I was like, I don't want to use too much, but the direction said to saturate your hair with this stuff. So I sprayed a lot of this stuff on my hair. So it also says to brush or comb the product into your hair. Oh, and I forgot to mention, they did say to spray this on damp hair, not wet hair, but damp hair. It also says to do not apply any other styling treatments on your hair while your hair is in this state. All right, so the next step is to blow dry your hair. You need some type of heat to activate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Revair. And people go crazy every time I pull this out because they're like, what's that? But it's called Revair and it's like one of my favorite blow dryers to use. It gets the hair super, super straight and I like to use it before I straighten my hair. Y'all always get mad at me too because the Revair is always out of stock, but I'm pretty sure it is back in stock. I will just put the link to it down below in the description box. But right now I'm using the hot setting to activate the uh, Dream Coat. And I like to use my styling brush to make my hair as straight as possible. And that brush can be found on mariamhampton.com. You guys already know if you watch my videos, I always give you guys a 20% off coupon code. And you can shop all of your hair growth needs at mariamhampton.com. Just use the code YouTubeFam for a discount. And this is how my hair looks when it is all blown out. I blew it out pretty straight, as you can see. And I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite flat irons of all time by Croc and um, go ahead and straighten my hair. You guys have seen me straighten my hair a million times. So I'm gonna speed through that. But if you wanna see a full straightened hair routine, I will link all of my straight hair videos down below in the description box. Oh, and also the Dream Coat is a heat protectant as well. So upon straightening my hair, I realized that it felt very, very like airy, like, you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it, but it didn't feel weighed down. It didn't feel oily or anything like that, which is sometimes something that I struggle with when I straighten my hair. It felt very, very like breezy, which I really loved. So these are my results of my straight hair. And I'm about to go outside in 80 degree weather. So we will see how this holds up. Okay, so I went outside. It's like 85 degrees outside. And gotta be honest with you, my hair is reverting back. Um, so I don't know. Like, I don't I don't know if this is gonna work for me, but we will see. We will see. So basically this is how the hair is looking. Uh, it looks crazy, like it's moving back up really bad. Show me your fit. So this is me showing y'all my outfit. But anyways, y'all, my hair poofed back up. Like, I don't know what that. Maybe I did something wrong. 
I don't know. Y'all tell me down below in the comment section if I did something wrong. I'm definitely going to keep y'all updated though because it says that after three washes, my curls are supposed to come back. So I hope my curls come back. But yeah, so subscribe to stay in touch with me. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, give me a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And you can follow me on any of my social media at Mariam J. Hampton. And shop all of your hair growth needs at MariamHampton.com. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!